Nagkaroon po kami ng mga maraming meeting doon hanggang humabot kami ng Mel Belgium and in Paris were mostly meetings with OECD. At nung ando doon nga ako, inulit ko po na sana naman po yung Sanofi because they're one of the top vaccine manufacturing plants, tulungan ang Pilipinas dahil meron po tayong mga makina na gumagawa ng bakuna na nasa RITM na hindi po umaandar. At nagpapatulong kami sa kanila kung pwede nilang paandarin kasi sayang naman. Pangalawa po, eh, meron pang pangalawang binili na gusto namin ihinto kasi walang feasibility study. So what they did was invite us for dinner. Sinabi ng opisina ko na i reveal nila yung presyo. So it was not This happened in Paris, ma'am? Yung, yung meeting with Sanofi Pasteur? Yes, Pastor. Lyon is also in France. Oh, Lyon. Okay. Lyon is in France. Uh, because I came up with your statement that uh, sabi nyo nga nagkamali kayo because of uh, this meeting. Siguro, please elaborate na lang po. Your Honor, nung tinanong po ako bigla ng isang uh, media correspondent, sinabi ko po wala akong natatandaan, pero ang natatandaan ko, nagpunta ako ng Lyon. Ito po yung factory nila kung saan pinapakita nila na ma'am, sa lahat ng bakuna, hindi po pwedeng gumawa kayo ng factory na maliit yung lugar at pipilitin nyo sa Metro Manila. They are not, um, ang nangyari po doon, ang sabi ko sa kanya, let me look at my notes and let me call people in my office because I can't remember a dinner. Nung lumabas na nga po at sinabi na I called up my office, my, my, other, staff, my other previous staff, at inamin ko naman na nagkamali ako. I was being asked for a dinner that happened two years ago. Isa lang po ang punto doon, Your Honor. Kung may mali siya yun, bakit ako magdadala ng mga career officials? Bakit ako magdadala ng taga-European Union? Bakit ako magdadala ng taga-Department of Foreign Affairs? Hindi ko po sila sinabing, et, you strategize. They were telling me that this is a burden at ganito kalaki and this is available. Ang una ko pong tanong, magkano po ba? When we ask a question Sir, of... Please, please uh, elaborate, because there were reports also that you were all the, there, uh, there were already negotiations on the price on that meeting. Si si Your Honor, it was referring to the, pub, uh, to the private sector. Okay. Kasi ang sabi ah, so ko sa... private po. Oh, ang una nilang ilalaba, sabi ko, magkano nyo ba yan ibibenta? Kasi syempre may professional fee pa. So I told them, the Philippines has a very big burden on dengue. Baka naman pwedeng mahal siya sa ibang bansa, mura siya sa Pilipinas. And I also told them, yung iba kasi mga opisina like ADB and World Bank, binabakunahan yung kanilang mga tao. So the price being negotiated was for the private, not for the pro procurement for public use? Hindi Your pa. Honor... I-correct ko lang, there was no price negotiation. Okay. It was actually their announcement of price. They made an announcement with, the, I think, with APEC, I'm not sure, but I was not present. So, there was no price negotiation. They just revealed the price. Kung balikan lang po natin, 2014, in-announce na ni Secretary Ona. Excuse me. Sir, sorry. If anybody has liquidity problems, just raise your hand and point to the restroom. Yes, you. Okay. 2014, nagkaroon na ng uh, press conference si Secretary Ona. Sinabi niya po na by July 2015, magkakaroon na ng dengue vaccination program and we intend to include that in the public health program. Pero ang sabi ni Secretary Ona, hihintayin ang presyo. I took off from there as part of any secretary. Uh, secretary's obligation. Pero wala pong naging how show, wala pong naging usap-usapan na kung ano-ano man. It was a very transparent meeting involving three topics. So ma'am, do you confirm the DFA report that um, you rep uh, th there was a meeting held in Paris? There was a dinner, yes, but Dayon, I would Dayon, opt to Dayon. have a copy of the report para po masabi ko kung alin yung tama, alin yung hindi. And maybe Sanofi is here. Yeah, we will we ask can them, ask them. And for the record, Your Honor, ang bili po ng Brazil is $30 per dose. I'm, I've been in touch with the government of Brazil since this November 29 advisory. Kasi ayaw ko rin na ang informasyon ko ay manggagaling sa Sanofi. Ang gusto ko nanggagaling sa ibang gobyerno. Sa atin po, $20 inclusive of VAT. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, again, I hope you don't, know, you don't mind now uh, because I want you yes, also to clear all of this information that is reaching us. Um, can you we, can we request the committee to flash the timeline because this will be very crucial. Eh. Siguro, Secretary Gin also, continuing to Mr. Chair, if you don't mind, it was established that during the first hearing that, that on December 10, 2015, or nine days after your Paris meeting with Sanofi, you submitted already a proposal to DBF for the procurement of 3 million doses of dengue vaccine. Um, can you confirm this, ma'am? Pardon, pardon, sir. The but it, after, the he, after the meeting with uh, Sanofi Pasteur, 
and uh, on December 10, 2015, that's nine days after the meeting, no, with the par in the Paris meeting, there were there uh, there's a report that you submitted already the proposal to DBM for the procurement of three million um, vaccines, dengue vaccines. Do you confirm this, ma'am? Your Honor, what actually happened was I was informed by the finance office na ang sabi nga ng DBM unang una talaga pa bang may mga magre-retire? Ilan ba ang kailangan? Pangalawa, kung wala nang mag-early retirement dahil marami pang pondong na iwan sa miscellaneous personal benefit fund, mag magbigay ng proposals on unfunded uh, programs. So, um, uh, everything that I submitted was all based on the submissions of uh, the directors concerned, Your Honor. So, big Ma'am, it's also not, it was also established that the dengue vaccine was not part of the program and therefore not in the GAA. So, um, that, the fund that was used from the MPBF or the Miscellaneous Personal and Benefits Fund, do you confirm this, Ma'am? Yeah, Your Honor, the fund was MPBF. Let yes. me, let me correct lang po. Hindi po totoo na, yes, wala siya sa GAA, wala siya sa plano for 2016. But it was in the pipeline. At ang unang ang iniisip nung programa, nung sinabi nila sa akin, is they were looking at 50 million from their savings. So it's in the pipeline because it's part of the dengue uh, prevention and control strategy uh, given to all countries. Is there any special um, requirement before any agency can, uh, can, uh, get, can use, can, uh, can use uh, this fund from the MPBF? Yes, Your Kasi Honor. Kasi kinagamit niyo po eh. In, wala ho siya sa GA, pero nagamit po for to, to uh, procure the dengue vaccine. So what's the special requirement po? Your Honor, um, I asked um, our legal office, our admin and finance office, at sinabi ko, pwede ba ito o hindi? Ang una-una daw requirement is that the human resource office will have to certify na yung mga mag-re-retire mag, mag, uh, mag eh hindi tutuloy. Pangalawa, the programs will submit proposals. Uh, Your Honor, if I may, mas maganda, kasi ang alam ko, after, after I sign, all the meetings was between our of, uh, the, the, the programs, the directors sa baba, and the DBM, kasi marami po masyadong requirements doon, and then the legal office. So, hindi na po ako nasama doon sa mga usapang yun. Um, uh, my participation was actually just endorsing the request to the office of the president. So the, so, so the proposal for DBM to procure the, um, the dengue vaccine on, on December 10 was made by your office, Pop? Your okay. Honor, it came from the vaccination, uh, the, the disease prevention and DPCB office. I, I, I'm not sure if family health office or DPCV office. I, I'm sure, Your Honor, it came from the office of technical services, one of the offices there. And likewise, uh, Mr. Chair, Within the same month, no, uh, just in your timeline, po, no, this is very crucial. December 22, 2015, the Certificate of Product Registration from FDA was, uh, yung timeline, please, kung pwede, may ilagay. Uh, for the Can you please uh, put the list. timeline in? Ay, timeline, para lang magandam. It will be good for, for Secretary Garin, while she's here, to clarify the timeline. No? Yeah. So, yun po, no? Yung December 22, the FDA approved the marketing of the dengue vaccine or dengue vaccine. No? Um, that's 12 days after the um, DBM received the notice for the procurement. Normally, um, I would like to ask, how long does it take for a vaccine to, or any product to be given a certificate of product registration? registration? Normal time by ito? Pwede um, si Do Dr. Kelly. Yeah, your, your Honor, I'm not involved. I'm not, just on the record, Your Honor, I was not involved in the licensing of Denvaxia and we operate separately. See, maybe you second. Uh, your Honor, I'm not involved with the licensing either. I have no authority in, the, in this aspect. No, but who, who was the Director General of uh, FDA then? Uh, at the time, the time. Is Acting Director General uh, Lulu, Lulu Bravo. Sanchez. Sanchez. Yes, ma'am, can you please, uh, can you con please confirm that the FDA issued certificate of product registration for Denvaxia on this date? Yeah, um, Mr. Chair, Your Honors, uh, the FDA has issued the Certificate of Product Registration on December 22, 2015. Yes, how long does, uh, no, how, how long does it normally take for any product for you to analyze and to, for testing? Medyo matagal yan, eh, usually. How long do, uh, does it well, take? Ideally, it should be on a nine-month to... So Our art. One year to almost one, two yes. years. Yeah, uh, one to they two were. years. Um, 
two years, Your Honor. One yeah. to two years. Uh, uh, specifically, Your Honor, for um, this vaccine, they actually filed the application on this on January 21 uh, of 2015. Can you take a look at January 21? Uh, can you go back, please? Timeline, please. January 21. Order, please. You're saying that they asked for, uh, uh, they applied on January 2015. 21, 2015. Huh? Yes, Your Honor. Can you put that there, please? Where is the timeline? Do you have any documents to show that? So, Director General, just to clarify, no, yung Sanofi submitted the complete dossier May 12, 2015. Tama ho ba? Um, the complete submission, Your Honors, um, was done until May 12, 2015. May 12, 2015. 2015 so, the approval of Deng Baksha was released December... December 22, 2015. So, ilang Your buwan lang ho yun? Um, about 280 days, Your Honors. So is that the so less than one year? Um, your honors, in our um, seven months. Seven months. And seven to months. be sure, this is a new drug, right? Uh, that yes, is largely honor. unverifiable. Kung magaling ito, experimental pa ang tawo ko yan eh. Tama ba yan? Um, Answer the question. Drug. It's a new drug, your honor. Yes, your honor. A new drug, almost experimental. Uh, the efficacy is questionable, correct? Um, doctor, in this, uh, sorry, your honors, in this case, um, the application has met the parameters of quality, safety, and efficacy, Your Honors. Uh, so you're saying this is effective? Um, according to the, to the parameters of FDA, Your Honors. Well, I don't know what your parameters are. I'm talking about from the standpoint of the public. Kayo ang, kayo ang, kayo ang bantay eh. Kayo ang guardia eh. Ang guardia sa Department of Health, FDA, at saka formularyo para hindi tayo mapupolitika. Para ko tayo mag-release ng gamot, dadaan sa FDA ng masusing pag-aaral. Dadaan sa formularya para masusi ang pag-aaral. Ngayon, hindi porke pinayagan nyo dyan.